Hey y'all, Deepro here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can use the credentials field to store account login information in your integration. The credentials field, as it sounds, is a way for you to manage credentials, whether those are account logins, whether those are API keys, you can store and manage them using the credentials field. Now, this is what it looks like in an integration recipe. So I've got an integration that is supposed to create a lead in a third-party CRM by using a specific account login. We've got when an item is created, create a lead in sales spot using account. And this highlighted text is the credentials field. When I click on it, it is gonna show me um, a list of CRM accounts that I can connect to. Uh, I can then go ahead and select one of these accounts and it's gonna store it there. Uh, but a user can also add um, a new account. So you can hit use another CRM account and this will go through an authentication flow that your app can control. Um, in this case, uh, it's, it's prompting for an API token. I'm gonna add my API token here. And when I hit submit, we're gonna be redirected back to Monday. And the account is now gonna show up in my integration. So uh, now I can see charlie at salesbot.com. When I click on that, I can then select the account that I just added. Now let's go ahead and hit add to board. And that's gonna create uh, this uh, integration on my board, okay? Now let's talk about how you can add a credentials field to your um, app. For this, I've got a demo feature that uses essentially the quick start for integrations that you have access to. So I've got this set up with the quick start. I haven't added anything to it yet. And let's go ahead and add the credentials field so you can see what configuration you need to um, set this up. So let's go to field types and let's create a new custom field. And let's call this um, CRM account, right? And this example is just for a CRM, but of course you can use this to manage credentials for any kind of account, whether that's your own platform, uh, whether that's a third party that you're trying to integrate with, um, or even if you're trying to create an integration that connects to multiple Monday accounts. Let's put this default key to be account uh, credential. All right. And now when you configure this, you're gonna to have to select um, a type of custom field. In this case, we're gonna select credentials. And now we're gonna supply a couple of different URLs. Uh, I've already configured a base URL here. So I'm just gonna configure the, uh, the endpoints. And here I'm gonna do credentials slash get. So this is the URL that's gonna get the credentials when a user first opens it. Credentials slash create to authorize and create a new set of credentials and credential slash delete to delete the credential. And now that I have the field, I'm gonna to have to add this to um, a workflow block as well. In this case, I have my um, classic transform text uh, workflow block from the quick start. And I'm just gonna leave this as is just for demonstration purposes. Of course, this doesn't make a lot of sense uh, given the, the, the use case. And I'm gonna choose the recipe sentence for the source, which means that the user is gonna to have to select the, which account they wanna use when they're setting up the recipe. And I'm gonna just call this account. And once I've add, added the field, I need to add this to the sentence. Uh, so transform it to text using account. Now that I've got that set up, I can hit update action. And now I have to go into my recipe and just refresh this. So I hit replace and I'll choose transform text again. Uh, I need to select the output fields and let's go ahead and hit save. All right, so th there you have it. That's the credentials field. Um, you can use this in, in your integrations to manage logins. Uh, you can use it to ease the transition to the workflow builder as well. Uh, there's a lot of different use cases for this. And check out our documentation to learn more 